the segregation of duties are, are too heavy, too many segregations for that particular organization to handle. Now we're going to consider the auditing of capital stock and take a look at the assertion of occurrence and completeness. If outside agents are used, auditor confirms information relevant to the year and amounts with them. So if we have an outside agent, then the auditor can go to the outside agent and confirm information relevant to the year and the amounts. Uh, when outside agents are not used, then the auditor has to do something else. What's the auditor going to do? Trace the transaction of shares between the stockholders to the stock register and or stock certificate book. Foot the shares outstanding in the stock register and or stock certificate book. Match them to total shares outstanding in the general ledger. Examine any canceled checked certificates and inspect any uh, unissued stock certificates in the stock certificate book. So once again, we have the capital stock auditing occurrence if outside agents are used, if we have the outside agents, the auditor can confirm the information relevant to the year with them. When the outside agents are not used, the auditor will have to go through some more procedural steps. Those steps being, once again, trace the transaction of shares between the stockholders to the stock register and or stock certificate book, foot the shares outstanding in the stock register and or stock certificate book. So that means add them up, of course, match them to the total shares outstanding in the 